first things first, we need to get the oil pan, the pickup and the baffle in place here. This is the OE baffle that we have in place here and we are making up an upgrade to this Tomei baffle, which is uh, quite different looking than the, the factory design. And Pete and I were having a closer look at it as well as at Tomei's website to try to figure out what this is all about. And what we gather is when this bolts in place here, the crank is spinning this way. And so as it rotates upward, these uh, sort of plates that bend outward allow the oil to escape sort of in the natural flow of the rotation of the engine. And then again, on the other side, it does the same because as it passes by, it's flinging the oil in the opposite direction. So these will shave it off in the other direction. So it's actually, what we think is quite a clever design to get as much oil back into the pan as you can. And they've also added this really cool oil cutter, which is designed to sit down in here. And it actually shaves oil off the crankshaft as it's spinning. So really the, the benefit of doing that is to reduce your windage losses. So the more oil you can get off of the crankshaft, the more you're effectively reducing its mass and freeing up horsepower. In fact, they have a dynograph, Tomei does, on their website showing that they pick up some top end horsepower with this oil cutter. So uh, basically free horsepower from what is a very clever and compact design. So I think this is quite a nice little upgrade. So uh, let's get to bolting it in place. There you have it. We've got the baffle in place and thank you Tomei for supplying all the gaskets. We were able to put the um, oil pickup also bolted in, in place and now we're getting ready to put the oil pan on. And